M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got my node and room number through. I'm using the SCU20 cable. Looks like this. They're about £50. Uh, there is a newer one out, but that's the SCU20, and you do need to download the driver. So right click, go to Device Manager. And once you've got the correct driver, you'll get prolific USB serial. Now, if you're running Windows 11 and you've got an older cable, just right click update driver then go browse my computer for driver and then at the bottom here let me pick and then just go to you should have it already on your pc if not go to prolific website and get the right driver there's loads out there so once you've done that i'll just show you where to get the driver and any software you need from just go here click the files and everything you need usb driver and firmware instructions all that kind of stuff is at the bottom so okay let's fire up the uh, the software for the first time boot so double click here and I mine was connected to a different radio but don't worry so the uh, pretty sure it'd be that number 10 let's just double check right click device manager double click yeah number 10 what we do now is open this up fully like so refresh select number 10 Make sure that the cable is in your PC, the SCU20, and the back of your radio. It's a 10-pin cable. Make sure, I think, pretty sure the three pins are at the top. But really, it will go in easy if you get it right. The other thing is turn off the radio. Like so. Hold the two red buttons. The... So let's do the first boot up for Wires X. We'll double-click the program. We'll turn off the radio. We'll hold down the two red buttons and hold, turn it on, get us into wires X mode. It's, now you've got to hold them quite firm, but not too firm. So GM, DX, and then turn on. It says wires X. Then we double click. We'll do the activation from the start. So ignore what you're seeing there. That's just me testing it. So we'll double click. And we're going to find, right click, we know it's device manager, port number 10. There you go. And then we're going to go refresh and find number 10 and click OK. And straight away, it's going to come up with a new window. And it's going to ask for our room number and ID number, which is which goes here. Not, give that a minute. There it goes. So it's 7-9-3-7-5. Three seven five eight nine three seven five, and then we just go ID entry, click OK, and then we're into the system, and that's it. What when it populates, what you're going to see is here is all in this section here is the users, and the bottom section are the rooms. You can add rooms in this. This top bit is more for shortcuts. So if we right click one of the rooms here and click Add to Bookmark. It adds it here or you can connect to like so just click connect to and then there's one of my favorites 21080 that's America link we'll go straight in there and you can see the QSL card where you can add a photograph and you'll hear the audio coming through this on the radio and it's an excellent system now don't forget this is just the SCU 20 cables not HRI so it's digital connections but it's really good, there's so much you can do with it. So there you are, I just thought I'd uh, show you how to get this up and running. And uh, go far, you've got transceiver settings here. There's transceiver settings. You can change the power. Now if you want to go into access mode, you just push. I'll show you, access mode means you can get another radio on the frequency that you choose. So I'll just uh, put my FT70 there, put it on VFO mode. So let's connect to the room again. Connect to 21080. We're on, so we're on America Link. And then we'll go push the bottom right button here. Actually, let's set the transceiver first. So we'll go File, Transceiver, and we'll set a frequency that's on my radio, which is 438550. 438.5. Five five zero. We, we can even set the power. We'll click OK. The radio will reboot. But on the screen, when I push this button here on the right, that's the bottom right button. It now shows that frequency of four three eight five five zero. We can connect to 
where I could link. So now, if I get my handheld, everything's, if you'll be able to see that, everything's now coming out of my handheld. And I can communicate TX and RX using the handheld, walk around the house. No need for, and then the the FTM 400 becomes like a, almost like a hotspot. We do need to get a, um, a dummy load in your in the back of your radio to do that. And that's it, really. So uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on air. Bye for now.